If you have a new Windows 11 installation, or even an old one, you may find that you have uh, plenty of unwanted or unneeded software on your system. Like for example, down here, we have an icon for Copilot Preview, uh, which just appeared after a recent update. We can right click and go to Taskbar Settings and turn off Copilot Preview. Right, and here in our system tray, we have uh, OneDrive, which I'm not using, I'm not signed in, but it runs every time I turn on my computer. And if I click on this little arrow, I can see more things that are in there. One thing I don't use is Microsoft Teams. So if we click on the Start button, and we go to Search at the top and type in Teams, I can right click and uninstall Teams, right? Click uninstall again and it should disappear. It's uninstalling in the background. Now as for OneDrive, type in OneDrive. If we can right click, click on uninstall. Now instead of uninstalling in the background here, it's going to pull up the list of installed apps here. So we are going to expand that and we're going to look for Microsoft OneDrive and the three little dots on the right. Click on those and then click on uninstall. This app and its related info will be uninstalled. Yes, that's why I clicked on uninstall. So here we go. Say yes to allow the uninstall software to make changes to your computer. And we see that that has disappeared. Now, essentially, you can go through, click on all apps, click on start, click on all apps, and go through all the listed apps on your computer and decide, is that something that you want or need? And uh, if you don't need it, go ahead and get rid of it. Like Cortana here, I never use that. Right click, uninstall, uninstall, all right? And on you go. Some things like Game Bar, if you right click, there is no uninstall option, right? So some things as you go through the list you'll discover are a part of Windows itself and you're not gonna be able to tear it out of there. But say here we have Mail. I don't use the built-in Windows Mail app. I can right click and uninstall that. You know, movies and TV, I get my media elsewhere. And, you know, basically jump around and I'm not playing Xbox. We can uninstall that. Just clean up what you don't need. If you don't understand what something is, however, so you're looking at something and you go, I don't use that. It may be something that you don't want to remove, right? So make sure that if you are removing something, you at least have an, a good solid idea of what it's used for. For example, here we have the sound recorder. You know, the, the functionality of that is pretty obvious. We can go ahead and uninstall that, right? But say if terminal was uninstallable, which it is, you may not know what terminal is used for and how useful it might be, right? So in, in my opinion, terminal is something that you do want on your system, even if you wouldn't use it somehow, uh, someday uh, a tech might come in and need terminal to uh, make certain edits and fixes on your computer. So, so understand what it is and then get rid of it if you're sure that you don't want it.